So I just got some exciting news in regards to uh, Impact Wrestling. I know I've been a little bit late on this one too due to my hectic schedule. I just found out from trustworthy sources including one Impact Lounge. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. If you like Impact Wrestling, highly recommend subscribing. Tell them Saint318 sent you, by the way. That uh, Anthem has now purchased uh, Access TV. And will obviously be moving Impact to Access TV. So, what does this mean? Well, when you consider how amazing Impact has been, especially these past couple of years or so, I think this is probably the best thing to ever happen to them right now. You know, next to, of course... Getting rid of Jeff Jarrett, getting rid of um, Dixie Carter, and getting rid of a lot of these old guys who were just past their prime and just, you know, were holding back a lot of the younger talent and taking up a lot of the payroll and salaries and just ultimately just ruining the, you know, ruining the brand in general. So, And I gotta say, I couldn't be happier. Because for these past few years, I gotta say, Impact has been my go-to brand. It's my current favorite brand in wrestling right now, believe it or not. Um, I love AEW too, but they're still kind of unproven, in spite of having some amazing... Yeah, they've had some good, you know, five-star pay-per-views. I loved every one of them, but I think time will tell. Can they put up, you know... I know it'll be good, but, you know, can they put on good product as well? You know, as far as TV goes, which is starting in October. So, now for those of you who don't know, Impact has been on Switch, it's been on Pursuit Channel. So, the only people who are watching Impact really were the core wrestling fans like myself, not so much the general public. Because, kind of as I said in a previous video, I don't want to be, you know, I'm going to be, I'm not being too repetitive here, but, you know, the problem was that. See, WWE has appeal. They had ways of not only appealing to wrestling fans, but appealing to the general public as a whole. And no doubt, Impact has their work cut out for them, you know, when you consider Impact's embarrassing history, you know. Because let's face it, there was a time when Impact was just absolutely dreadful and unwatchable, much like the WWE is right now. So... And uh, by the way, WWE fanboys, if you're just going to attack me, make fun of me, and calm me down, I'm just going to block you. I'm not going to waste my time arguing with you. I'm right. You're wrong. Shut up. Okay? Because I know a lot of you are going to come after me for this. So, so I don't need to waste my time. Because I make it clear. Harassing comments, derogatory comments, racist comments, you're blocked. End of story. That's one of the rules on my channel, by the way. But... It's just, uh, it's amazing how such a small brand is doing everything right, and yet one of the biggest brands in the world is doing everything wrong these past, you know, few years. So, this will help them get the viewership, this will help, you know, sell more tickets, sell more pay-per-views, merchandise and such. This is the big break this company needs. And to top it all off, they're going to have complete creative control of the product as well, because now they own Access TV. Now I'm not making excuses for WWE, but you also got to consider they're under pressure from a lot of the major networks. They don't have complete control. I wish Vince would just put his foot down, but that's another story for another time. Having creative control, having, you know, 100% authority over your product helps as well in a big way. See, that's where my concern for AEW comes into play here because they're not going to have complete control. Impact will, and that's what's going to help them going forward. And I really think, I see big things for them this time. I know a lot of you snicker and laugh at Impact, and I can understand considering their past, which is, you know, a very, rather embarrassing past. A few bright spots in between, but let's face it. It was not the best company in the world, that's for sure. But anybody like myself who's been watching these past few years, I haven't missed an episode all year. Every pay-per-view they've done has been five-star for the past couple of years. For those who haven't watching, give it a watch and you'll see what I mean. So, But as of now, that's all I got. 
Let me know what your thoughts are. Are you personally excited for this move? I know I am. Till then, that's all I got. Rate, comment, subscribe.